I look so freaking rough today, but it's tattoo day. <laughs> I am pretty nervous about today. I've been like, I haven't been like deciding whether or not to get it, but I've been very like, oh my god, like, well, basically, should I do it? Or like, would I like it? Or will I regret it? But you know what? Life's just too short, I've been telling myself. Way too many times. Um, I just woke up at like 6.30 and stayed on my phone for a bit. So now it's, it's half seven, I think. And yeah, I'm gonna get up and go on a little walk just cause um, it wakes me up a bit and I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym today. So not to like burn calories or anything, but just cause I feel like I won't really like if I, my body doesn't move then I'll get into like a routine even if it's for one day I just feel so sluggish and lazy um so yeah I'm gonna go on a wee walk I'm gonna come back and probably do a bit of makeup and then I think today is gonna be like a little um a little come with me um shopping as well We'll see, um, but I'll film the tat. And um, let's get this sorted. Just about to go for my walk and focus. My watch is cracked down the middle. I don't know if you can see that, I think you can. And basically, when I try to unlock it, Oh, it's unlocked. Literally stood there for like 10 minutes trying to unlock my watch and the second part of the cracked screen just wouldn't let me type my passcode in and then when I try and show you on camera that my Apple watch is booked, um, it decides to unlock itself. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go now and I'm really annoyed because I think I'm gonna have to get a new one or I'm gonna have to get the screen replaced but if I have to get the screen replaced I'm not gonna go to Apple because they'll probably charge me a fortune <laughs> yeah I'll catch you all after hey everyone um I'm back from my walk and obviously as you can see I've had a little bit of a glow up I actually feel though I don't know if it's just the camera I've got my ring light as well so there's loads of light but I feel really pale <laughs> And I put this like tinted moisturiser tan thing on last night and I feel like it usually works but it has not done anything. Um, actually I've got my breakfast. The usual. Way to fix. Um, I thought I'd just come and do a little intro. Um, but yeah, hi welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Oh god, I apologise for how creepy that sounded. To the channel. So this video is basically me going to get a tattoo. I'm literally getting a tattoo um, this afternoon. I'm a bit nervous because I don't know what it's going to be like. Obviously post-Covid and they've got to get up close with you and stuff. And I'm not nervous about that. But it's just getting into the rhythm of socialising and stuff again. About the tattoo. I've kind of wanted this tattoo for, I wouldn't say a while. I'd say like a few months I've wanted it and then um, I'll pop up some inspirational pics but the motel girl I don't know how to pronounce her name her tattoo just inspired me like I love the whole half sleeve I'm not getting half a sleeve but the whole badass thing and I just love it like and everyone that I've spoke to apart from my sister has been um, against it <laughs> But my sister's for it. My mom's like, no, nothing too dark, da da da. But I think we're gonna do it anyway. Just cause, oh yeah, and some of my friends have said, yeah, that, like go for it. But I just think, why not? Like I like it and I just think life's way too short. I know that sounds cringe, but it's just so true. And whenever I think back to that thing, I literally think like, why would I look back at AC and regret it? Because, like, I wasn't sure about this one. 
at first but then now I just grow to love it like because it's part of me now and I just think society like tattoos have been around for literally centuries and centuries and centuries um they're part of tradition they've always been around but it's like society has turned them into um since the 1900s and 20th and 20th 21st century I don't even know what I'm talking about but I didn't take history but I just feel like society has made the tattoo thing for people who don't have intelligence and people who are not this and they're not that and they look a certain way like my grandparents describe it as cheap um I don't know I just think as long as you're happy it doesn't matter and if someone in your family is getting one as long as they're happy this is the thing as well like you're not getting it on your body i'm getting it on mine so it's fine i don't know i just think why not life's too short and i think as well like my mom wasn't sure and i was like the only reason you're not sure is because um because people just accumulate these ideas from what they've heard in their head about people not being good enough and stuff and if i think my tattoo is gonna be on my arm and when I eventually go into something like design, I, mean, I won't really care. But yeah, I think tattoos will be fine. And yeah, I'm intelligent and I've got loads of tattoos. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a myth. And I think tattoos are getting a lot better as the years are going by, but it's still such a slow movement that people are still like looked down on and frowned upon. But yeah, um, anyhow, that was a bit deep. But I thought I'd just say that Lots of people I've spoke to have tried to convince me not to and I just think if it was me giving advice I'd be like I think this but if you're happy da 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 like I'm gonna support you da 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 but people I've asked haven't been that supportive and it's just get, it gets me a bit down sometimes not that it doesn't make me not want to get it it makes me realise that people that are close to me maybe aren't who I thought they were but I guess they're just expressing their opinion and they're just following social, they're just too socially involved um, with what the world thinks but I honestly couldn't care less. I care about how people perceive me because I feel like I don't want to be treated different but at the same time I really like don't care about um, people's opinions. Okay so I've eaten my breakfast. But I just thought I've got some bits that came yesterday so I thought I'd show you and it's not a video without a haul. So I got these um, boxing gloves because I start tie boxing tomorrow. I'm so excited. I don't even know the website I got these from but I got the smallest size because my hands my wrists are tiny they don't look tiny here but my hands are tiny and yeah i also got some tops because opali had this um three for 30 pounds i think it was i really opened it thought i'd show you and for 10 pounds each these were like good because opali's decent quality so I got this little black corset top I won't try it on just because I'm a bit um, pushed for time and I can't be bothered so this is this and then I got these little black satin shorts for bed I think this is 10 but they look really small and I got that top in red Very cute. I feel like my hair's not that short anymore, but it's at like an awkward length where it's right down here. It would be considered long, but right now it's just meh. But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave soon. I don't know when. I feel like this is all happening so fast. 
come with me to get my tattoo. I'm gonna leave soon, but I think the next time you'll see me is on the train or something. I don't really know. But yeah. <sighs> not gonna lie, I'm nervous. Not really for the pain, but I'm such a perfectionist and I think it takes a while to get the right stencil in the right place, basically. But yeah. I'm excited to be fair. So let's go. Just waiting for the train. So I'd give you a quick OOTD. Wearing these platform Converse. And I've got this um, blazer on from Nasty Gal. It's like cropped. And I got it last year. So I don't think I'll be able to find it with a black top and um, cycle shorts. And yeah. I took my necklace off because um, I don't think it matched. Yeah. The weather is freaking awful. Hello, I'm back and what you just saw there was me trying my first Tim Hortons and it was pretty good because it was salted caramel but yeah, oh, dark and very fresh so when it heals, for example, obviously most of you know, when they heal they'll look a bit lighter. I'm in love. Love the way it looks so much. Um, Emily did such a great job. She's just the friendliest and that's probably the best, one of the best tattoo experiences I've ever had. I'll definitely go back to her because 
this is a masterpiece you're only allowed yourself you're not allowed someone else with you like a friend or whatever um and it was just overall a really good day i actually stopped at urban on the way back so i'll do you a quick haul i just got this cream hoodie and that's all and that's all i got and i thought it would be really cute i love that i hope you enjoyed this little vlog um of coming with me to get a tat i will link the instagram of the shop below and emily who did my tattoo her instagram and everything but her books are closed right now so if you do want to get a tattoo just keep an eye open and book with her asap because she's amazing and yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time